Hello MATLAB programmers, I'm just going to talk about um, arrays and another name for arrays you might hear is vectors and matrices. So we're going to start out with a very simple variable and I'll start out with just the variable named x and I'll set it equal to 2. And notice that our workspace now has x set to 2. If I double click on that, I see that it's actually being stored as a one by one double. And that means one row and one column. So I haven't actually taken advantage of the fact that I can have more than one thing inside of this um, matrices. Um, but let's go ahead and do that now. I'll create another variable, A. And if I want to put more than one item in my matrix, um, I can use these square brackets and then I'm going to separate the items in the first row of my matrix by spaces. So I'll do one, two, three, four. And if I just want one row, it could be a row vector. Another word would be an array instead of vector. I can just end it right there. And now I've created A and A is a vector that has one row and four different columns. So one by four. Another way to do the same exact thing, instead of putting spaces, we could put commas. And that'll do the same thing, create the same vector for us. What if I want to create a vector that is just one column with multiple rows? Well, I could do that with the same beginning, a square bracket, and there's two ways to do it. I could put a semicolon in between each row, and then now I've got a vector that's one uh, or four different rows and one different column. So if I look at that, it's a four by one vector. So a column vector. Uh, another way to do the same thing is just go ahead and hit the enter on the keyboard and that'll go to the next row. Um, what if we want to access something out of our vector? So I've got this vector with four different items. And what if I want to take the first item? Well, then I can just use parentheses and then number one will refer to this first item. And if I use number two, it'll refer to the second item. Number three refers to the third item. And if I've got my um, vector B, and I want to say, well, what's the third item in the vector? Well, it's just one column and there's four different rows and it gives me the third item in the vector is a zero. I can even change the third item in the vector or any of the items in the vector uh, by just using an equal sign. Say, let's make it 100. And now I've changed my vector. Um, sometimes you don't want to type every single item in your vector, so you might want to use one of the array initialization shortcut techniques. One of them is I could go ahead and say I want an array, and I can give it a start value, and I can give it another value that's an increment, and then I can give it an ending value. So if I want to start at 2, then it has the first item in the array is 2, and then it'll add 3. and create the second item of five, then it adds three again, and the next item is eight. And if I were to add three again, I would go past my ending value in the array, so it stops right there. Um, but if I were to increase the ending value, then I'll see that my array is extended. So we've got our initial value, our end value, and what to increment by each time. So if I just wanted one through 10, we'll just do increment by one, and we've got one through 10. Um, so if I look at that vector, it's a 1 by 10 vector. All right, there's a couple other built-in functions that are used um, to create a matrix. So there's a zeros function. If I wanted a 2 by 2 matrix, I could use zeros and 2 by 2. And I could either store the result in the answer variable, or I could give it a different name, um, my matrix. And if I provide one number in parentheses, it'll be a square matrix. But if I provide two numbers, the first number is used as the number of rows and the second number is the number of columns. So let's try, um, along with the zeros idea, there's also a ones function that'll build a matrix with ones. And there's also an I function. Let me do another square matrix and that will do an identity matrix with ones along the diagonal.